Burton in the 20 car. Back to Natalie Decker, the end of the line in seventh. We're talking about a second. Brandon McReynolds, it's 2.3 oh, seconds back as we've got one turned around. It's Thad Moffitt in the 46. And there was another car or two involved in that incident. Looks like Thad's going to get the worst of it. That coming off of turn four, it looks like perhaps it, the 11 was involved. Yeah, Jason White possibly involved in the situation. So a couple of first-time Daytona racers getting together here. It'll change everything now with nine to go. Let's see if we can figure out what happened. 46 run along by himself, gets a little wiggly. That looks like a tire. It looks like a maybe a right rear tire. At least maybe it smells like a tire, right? <laughs> Without a doubt. General tire right, profile. Right rear tire was down on that car, and the 11 of Jason White came along with nowhere to go, ran into the outside wall trying to avoid him. But another right rear tire issue here for Thad Moffitt. Just a long for the ride at that point. Yeah. Did a really good job of saving as long as he did. And there was Jason just trying to keep from running into Thad and ran into the outside wall, but. What a tough break for Thad Moffat, who did a nice job. Reaction from back in the pits. So Thad Moffat will not do what Uncle Adam did, winning his first ARCA race, something that Lee Petty did, winning the first Daytona, or excuse me, yes, Lee Petty, the first Daytona 500. Yeah. But you can tell this kid's going to be a race. Yeah, great effort, though, by Thad Moffat and that entire Empire Motorsports team. I'm sure he's really disappointed, but uh, I think he uh, he did well for himself here. The goal was four fenders on the car, top 10 or better. He was perilously close. <laughs> 